Okay, in this video, I'm painting the second set of color studies that I had penciled ahead of time. In the same way I, I did the first one, I drew two instances of the same scene so that I can paint them two different ways. This time around, I'm considering using just one color triad for the entire book. So I picked two color triads to compare with. I picked for the first triad the, this Jean Brilliant, which is a melon color, like a yellow orange color, with ash blue and burnt sienna. So that's the first triad. And then the second triad is ash blue, burnt sienna, and instead of the Jean Brilliant, I used yellow ochre, which is a more yellowy, less orangey color. Now, in the first set of sketches, I was actually quite happy with the outcome of this foggy marshland scene. Both color triads look like something I can work with for the entire book. Now, in the second set of sketches, I have a character in there, and I got a little too finicky painting this and added a little too much details than was necessary. I wasn't happy about that because I was actually hoping to paint more simple shapes. But anyway, the purpose of this exercise is to test the colors and see which one I would go with. Now, in the third set of sketches, this is a scene of wavy water with a setting sun and a silhouette of a bird. At this point, I'm reminded that I'm not that well versed in painting seascapes, ripples of water, or waves. And so I was approaching this with trial and error. As you can see in the footage, I would paint a light wash and then increase the value and then later on add back white streaks of paint, not knowing if I'm doing the right thing to make it look convincing as waves in the water. But the outcome ended up okay. Not bad for the level of skill that I have. Now in the fourth set of sketches, this is an indoor scene because the rest are all set outdoors and I thought I should paint an indoor scene so that I can test the color triads and see how it would look indoors. So I just focus on this object here, which is a pot of Cod's head. And when I painted this, I realized that uh, using unconventional colors to paint food looks a bit weird. It doesn't look appetizing. I mean, fish heads don't look appetizing on their own, but it looks even more bizarre with these color palette. So at this point, I started to doubt my little experiment. I started reconsidering using just natural local colors again. And then when I reached the last pair of sketches, which is a bird's eye view of a sailboat cutting through waves, this is when I started to make one mistake after another. I couldn't figure out how to apply the paint on the paper to make it look convincing as waves in the water. I tried fixing it several times, but it, it didn't work. And when I look at the lower panel with the burnt sienna, I felt even more discouraged because it just reminded me of a muddy river. And so I just abandoned it and didn't bother fixing it because I thought I'll just create a new set of sketches to practice seascapes and waves. But when I looked at the clock, it was already getting late at night and it was a Sunday night. I had to get ready for work the next day. So I had to stop and wait for the next time I can resume my color studies. But I knew it was going to take five more days because that week was going to be a busy week for me. 
And so it was quite tough to let it go because I was gonna go to bed with the thought of these two messy sketches. So I laid in bed that night thinking about how I would fix my approach the next time around to enable me to paint a more convincing sketch of the sea. And so in the next video, we'll see what I ended up doing. <laughs>